Welcome back everyone, welcome back to na another <laughs> don't take that serious video. Uh, we are taking and you know what, I just purchased this ship. Yes, you heard me right, this is my newest ship in my port. I repurchased the Nicholas uh, stock uh, hole, I did not purchase uh, the upgrade. I just want to see and we are all focus this destroyer's guns. Why? Someone, uh, one of my subscribers said, Zera, the tier 4 Pan-Asian destroyer receive those guns, Nicholas stock configuration guns and um, uh, rate of fire, I still believe it's even better. Can we leave this crap? Now imagine uh, Minekaze with those guns, those guns. And rate of fire. And imagine a Minekaze with Faragut's Torps. 6.4, 65 bloody uh, 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 speed, torpedo speed. Well, if that destroyer at tier 4 is not overpowered, I don't know what that is. And did I mention it's the fastest uh, uh, destroyer in this game with 39 knots? Did I mention that this has one of the best stealth in 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 its tier? Only Minekaze beats her. Did I mention that uh, she has the best torps? Deep water torps, you cannot uh, kill an, any other uh, destroyer. But uh, it, this is, you know, just fun. Just practice. Just have this gut feeling. How is it to play a tier 4... Um, shall I say... Uh, Chinese? Uh, destroyer with those guns, exactly those guns. Okay, my po potato aim. Okay, you are selling straight good. See what's going on here. Okay, my aim was just crap. Maybe we should delete this dude. Oh, you're coming bald. The fire's power is definitely there. Pretty chunk of damage. No, you don't. Hold on. Okay, you'll shoot the Indus book. All right. Fair enough. Nobody of us died. How weird is that? Miyogi and two Izukaze left. They just run away. Now, don't get me wrong, those torps are not bad. But, man. So guys, what do you think about those guns? Seriously, just want to say absolutely ridiculous. Okay, this is bad. Ah! Got me! <laughs> Bugger! You 
kill me in the freaking second and I was the only one who died ah, Zera you fool <laughs> oh I love those guns guys oh so bad I could not use my freaking guns to shoot that uh, pussy Miyogi who just staying behind the rocks well he is more like a human to me <laughs> <laughs> Full HP Nicholas, did you not shame you yourself? <laughs> V25 close to Yeah. But I, I do believe in my buddies, they will hunt him like a dog. <laughs> Come on buddies! Uh, move to that big slow fat juicy target. <laughs> Oh, uh, he got me the bugger. No, seriously. Now, let's talk about um, tier 4. Uh, Minekaze with uh, Nicholas uh, stock guns. It's brutal. It really is brutal. It's They are very good guns. Probably I would say that uh, tier for tier, I still believe the in gun power, uh, the uh, Clemson's guns, the double turrets are more effective, they do more damage and you have uh, of course slightly more uh, over uh, uh, what I'm trying to say, uh, um, more chance that you hit your target and do more damage. However, my dear uh, subscribers, the Clemson does not have speed concealment or torpedo power. Sure, it does have firepower, but overall, honestly, opinion, a best uh, hybrid. Don't get me wrong, this deep water torps cannot harm any other destroyer and some light cruiser. I know, probably the Kuma is also one of them. So sure, it does have a weakness in, in guarding that. I see this is also the, the guns of uh, the uh, Nicholas, absolutely broken good. Missed, put your enemy on fire, I do believe the percent to put your enemy on fire is fine. Uh, the dispersion like the salvo you see over there, it was not the greatest. But I do believe the boss, they don't, don't have this uh, uh, dispersion module that you can purchase for 100,000 uh, credits or something. So seriously guys, I'm not joking. In general, if if a tier 4 destroyer reloads the guns better than the Nicholas tier 5, there's something wrong with that. And same things guys. How can a tier 4 destroyer receive a tier 6 destroyer uh, torpedo power? It will be just broken, it's absolutely ridiculous uh, broken. And uh, overall, the reason number one I do have a lot of fun with my Kamikaze R, it's because of how fast it turns, I'm talking about turning radius and speed. You are a god of uh, the speed in Kamikaze R. However, that uh, top notch speed, it will be tier for tier the best destroyer. Because let's face it, you're gonna face a tier uh, 7 for crying out loud. And you are a tier 5 Kamikaze R, right? Sure. But imagine if that um, uh, destroyer will be tier 4. How broken, and you're never gonna face any tier uh, uh, 6 or 7s uh, destroyers. The only thing you can face, it's a tier 5 for crying out loud, in the worst case. Otherwise, you all aiming versus tier 4s and tier 3s most of the time. So, what I'm trying to say, guys, and this is uh, important. Nicholas is a good destroyer, nothing wrong. Kind of a big, kind of a easy to hit. But it's not that maneuverable, it's not that agile as a kamikaze uh, are. Uh, and that does not have the speed but imagine just stupid imagine if those Nicholas guns will have uh, minikazes on hole at tier 4 okay crap you, you see the picture what I'm trying to say and we won so no uh, guys back to port yeah one only one fire guys and the bugger killed me. 
all right back to port let's talk about uh, this uh, guns we are all focusing the the guns because we are knowing for a fact that this uh, 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 pan asian destroyer will receive those uh, uh, guns which is absolutely broken 960 meters per second fire range 10.9 probably it will not have this range for the stock configuration but you have a upgrade and by the way i do highly highly recommend with those guns you go for a bft and advanced firing training why because even at the max range you don't have any issue whatsoever to hit your target and it's kind of a small percent to put your enemy on fire four percent not bad but it's really darn good the HE 1800 damage it's it's broken good I'll also show you how good 1800 same as Farragut all right but how about uh, Clemson just want to see the Clemson uh, where are you Clemson 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 Nicholas Fletcher Clemson don't where is my captain what the hell is my captain Clemson yes so this is a, a, a really good pick for my US uh, prevent is maintains uh, last stand uh, uh, basic firing training you want that the DPM you want the concealment and you want advanced firing training why because even Clemson has uh, 884 meters a second but you see the percent to put your enemy on fire it's much higher it's uh, seven percent but they only do 1500 damage those guns but you you uh, most of time you have uh, six guns for crying out loud so it's 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 absolutely broken on overpower uh, at your four however the reload of those guns are 6.3 second with a pretty decent good captain uh 6.3 all right now when you're talking about the uh, uh, nicholas you see i don't have him 100 percent so it's uh it's you cannot say quite but you see 6.2 seconds i do believe if you have a uh, basic firing training and uh, adrenaline rush i do urge you to have probably you'll get uh, those two probably 5.5 seconds or something uh, but the, what is the biggest different guys it's 960 meters a second he shells and uh, uh, <clears throat> it's very easy it's very easy to do very well at tier 4 of course this Nicholas is tier 5 and can face tier 7 ships however the pain Asia, and this is the the, the 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 stuff I'm talking about touch tree it, this is the the destroyer the bugger uh, pain Asia, where are you this one this is one broken good destroyer with Nicholas guns we just saw it this is the Nicholas guns for crying out loud absolutely ridiculous and by the way do you want to see the torps I'll show you the torps those torps are just even more broken all right I'll show you the torps guys because what the hell not all right guys let's see the torps the best tier 4 torps in this game oh really Faragot for crying out loud, yes, those torps are. It's uh, 64 knots, 6.4 kilometers deep water top, which basically you cannot harm any other destroyers and some light cruiser. But in general, I'm, I'm just question. Are 64 knots any good speed? Hell yeah. 6.4 you may argue but zero it's not that great. Sure, it's not that great. But remember that the uh, you are not talking about the US ship for crying out loud the whole it's actually a kamikaze for crying out loud so what 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 we compare uh, 6.4 kilometers uh, it's in kamikaze detection and my kamikaze detection it's 5.4 sure uh, the um, kamikaze horror has slightly better concealment than the pain Asia, but probably you should have the concealment about 5.6 so between 5.6 and 6.4 you have still uh, slightly ninja uh, uh, ability to torps and 
You know what? This makes this destroyer such a lethal what it's so OP broken in every uh, stats. It's two things and it's a tier 5 and absolutely broken guys. And it's the tops. 60 bloody 8 uh, not stops uh, 7 kilometers and reload every 42 seconds. That is the strength but there's something else. And it's actually the maneuver you have 97 you have 550 by the way this is your turning radius for tier 4 uh, Panasian destroyer and s slightly worse a rudder shift because after all it's a tier 4 for crying out loud and same freaking speed 39.4 I do believe I have speed flag do I have do I have speed flag yeah I do have speed flag so 39.4 uh, knots at tier 4 with this stupid good turning radius and with Nicholas guns and with Farragut's uh, torpedo range and uh, probably damage as well but not for destroyers and light cruisers they are only made for uh, their deep waters so man, seriously, I'm serious. I'm, I'm not joking what I'm saying, uh, this guys. If this destroyer, it's not broken, I don't know. Okay, that is uh, wrong one. Touch um, three. Shenyang. I don't know what is. Because I have this gut feeling. I know what kind of a, uh, uh, what kind of. Um, guns we are talking about i definitely know my kamikaze are what kind of hole what kind of turning radius how much fun you can outround anyone and this is kind of a, a weird situation you are a hybrid uh, and chasing a battleship slow battleship that it's your main target however if a enemy destroyer or hell even a cruiser will start to uh, harm you or you know you can always uh, pop the smoke and try to delete that cruiser or destroyer so it's very unique gameplay with <laughs> I, I still honestly believe she's OP because there's too good stuff uh, 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 about her than the Japanese uh, uh, lovers like uh, kamikaze or minikaze and stuff they can just dream about and same things go with uh, uh, to the traverse speed just talk about uh, to, uh, to the traverse uh, verse speed let's go to Nicholas what kind of a uh, to the traverse speed does this bugger have <clears throat> 12 seconds ah! <laughs> all right <laughs> 12 seconds and uh, what the, what does the minute as I do believe it's 30 guys I know it's 30 seconds <laughs> <laughs> seriously and this is a big ship big target guys I'm not joking uh, but y you see the point he he is for crying out loud a tier 5 uh, destroy with crappy torps and crappy torps range crappy everything the only thing good, good about Nicholas in this game it's uh, uh, his guns and why play Nicholas <laughs> he can play tier 4 and seal club even more <laughs> I love those guns, that's for damn sure. But uh, let let me put it this way. If this destroyer will be at tier 4, well, now you're talking business. Because now you're talking a lot of fun. But it still cannot compare the speed, the turning radius of a kamikaze. So, my question to you. Do you really think, my dear subscriber, uh, let's go to Tech 3 that um, oh sorry guys this lovely beast will be any fun and fan factor it's for me the number one the reason I'm I'm playing this game it's because I want to have fun I want to be um, um, agile yes that's the right word I want to engage or disengage now do you think I can disengage with this uh, ship? Now, yes, another question. If I have 39.3 knots without speed boost, 
Can I reach 43 knots with speed boost? Or I, I do believe I can. And uh, I do honestly believe this will be the fastest tier for destroy in this game. Or hell, even uh, um, yeah, at tier 4, yeah, I do believe so. There's no such thing as faster. No, no, no. And absolutely fantastic. I cannot say uh, too much about the, the... I'm very hyped about this. This is the number one uh, uh, reason that I would like to very much grind. And uh, I will, and this is kind of important, when I read the last line on the mission marathon, we, we will receive uh, a Panasian captain as the final reward. Guys, that's all I like to say for now. Subscribe to my channel, leave your comment below what you think about this beast of a destroyer, which basically we know almost everything you have to know, you need to know about this, about the torpedoes, about the firepower, about the stealth, about everything, and it's uh, it's broken good. So, seriously, to to say that it's. Because of it is a tier four, and you can never may, uh, face plus two in matchmaking. It will be even more fun than Kamikaze. That is my personal opinion. Uh, don't get me wrong, Kamikaze can still earn you much more credits, and it's a it's a very strong ship. Even if you're playing versus tier seven battleship, you don't you, you don't give a damn when you're playing a kamikaze, because you will torpedo and you will delete those uh, battleships. Uh, but however, facing a tier seven destroyer like a blisk or something else, you know, it's not so much fun. However, this bugger at tier four, it's different story, guys. That's all I like to say for now. Subscribe to my channel and always, captains. Fair seas and goodbye.